<clears throat> hey guys, hey guys, your girl here, Tanisha at createmyowneconomy.com. So I'm going to tell you how I used to be in poverty and poor and how I got out, right? Now I used to have a job, literally living check to check. Okay. So that means my whole being revolved around this check to check. My whole being revolved around going to work for money. So I didn't have time to be with my child. I didn't have time to take my child anywhere. I didn't have money to be able to do anything um, for her. And I always was stressed. And I always was upset. And I always was mad. And, you know, I'm starting to think now, now I'm thinking back, uh, you know, maybe five or six years ago, you know, I was frustrated because I felt like I was locked up. Now, I know, you know, some of you may have been locked up before, but being locked up, guys, this is locked up, right? Your mindset is locked up because it's like you around these walls, right? And in my job, I was around these walls. It wasn't like I was free. I can take a break when I want. I can leave when I want. Came in when I want. Ate when I want. I couldn't do that, right? Because I was around these four walls and I felt like I was in jail at my job. So, you know, a mind, guys, is a terrible thing to waste, all right? So, so I used to, you know, revolve around check to check. My life revolved around check to check. My daughter's life revolved around my job check to check guys so i felt that i was poor and i felt that i was in poverty guys well impoverished because my mind was this small see guys our mind supposed to expand that's why you're supposed to go on vacations that's why you're supposed to take trips different places that's why you're supposed to go see the world you're supposed to travel because now what that does it helps your mind to expand it helps you get new thoughts it helps you get new feelings and it helps you get new ideas, right? So when I was just on this rat race, going to work, going to work, coming home, going to work, coming to work, going to work, it was just like, that's it? What is life about, right? So when I got fired, guys, you know, at first I was like, all right, well, what am I going to do about money, right? So I collected unemployment for about two years. Um, it was $300 a week, I think. That wasn't enough, but I want to thank God for my husband because, you know, even though he wasn't supportive of me and my business in the beginning and he wasn't here for me and he wasn't helping me, he was just pushing jobs on me. He paid all the bills. So I'm grateful for my husband, uh, you know, to this day. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people don't have a spouse or a husband to be able to, you know, pay the bills. But guys, I was literally blessed, right? Because God knew what he had for me. Right, God knew exactly what he had for me, guys. And guess what? I knew that I was able to be more, have more, do more. I knew just going to a job every single day was not it. I knew, guys, that there were more, right? I knew my cousin, thank God for her, because she introduced me to the multi-level marketing industry, which is the business industry. And I got to be around millionaires who, who don't have jobs, who's making millions of dollars, waking up when they done sleeping, being able to go where they want to go, travel when they want to travel, spend the type of money on themselves that they want to, and not have any issues. So I said, you know what? I want that. Right. I want that. You know, so I said, you know what? I told him, I said, tell me what I got to do to get that. Right. Because I was tired, guys. Literally. See, you got to get tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of the mundane. You got to get tired of being sick and tired of the same old nothing. You got to get tired of being sick and tired, guys, of doing nothing. You got to get tired for real. Right. And I just got tired, guys. That's why I got fired. Because I couldn't do it anymore. I was coming in late, doing what I wanted to do. I wasn't doing the work because I was just tired. Guys, I was burnt out. You ever got burnt out and you felt so burnt out like, oh my God, what the fuck now? Okay? So I got tired, guys. And thank God that my cousin showed me a new way. So now it's my duty. It's my responsibility to now show you another way. Right? Because most people, 98%, I'm just talking about Americans. 98% of Americans, guys, are in debt. 
They're impoverished. They don't have life outside of their jobs. They live in check to check. They got debt up to here. The average American guys only travel once every five years out of the country. And then some Americans go on vacation and come back broke. Right. So I had to change my impoverished mindset. I had to change, uh, you know, my uh, my poor mindset because thinking small is impoverished, impoverishment and it is poor because God said he wants us to have life. He wants us to live in prosperity. He wants us to live in abundance, right? So when you're thinking this small, right? Well, when I was thinking this small, right? And living check to check, that's not of God, right? God give us the options. And my option was to live check to check. My option was to think small. And that's why God put my cousin in my life so that she could show me a new way. Now, God has put me in your life so that I can show you a new way, guys. Three incomes minimum, right? I learned that. Three incomes minimum, guys, is what you need to start to achieve some financial relief. One income won't do it. Two incomes won't even do it, okay? Because people are married. They have their husband and their wife, and they still struggling. How do you have two people working in a household and y'all still struggle, right? Because two incomes is not enough. Now, you got your husband's income. You got your income. Right now, you guys, you and your husband together at a third income, it could be Amazon, it could be Bitcoin, it can be real estate, it could be stocks and bonds, it could be another asset, it could be an affiliate business, a multi level marketing business, a brick and mortar business. Well, these days, guys, I feel like brick and mortar businesses are dying, I feel like brick and mortar businesses are going away now. They have click to order business, right? Amazon, right? I just made like four sales just sitting here. Uh, you know, on Amazon, right? Remember, guys, this is the time, right? So you can continue to watch and say, oh, no, I'm going to start in January. No, now's the time to get involved with Amazon, guys. My course is 400, right? I'm, go I'm going up on it too, right? It's 400 right now, guys. And people are buying it, right? When it was 200, people was buying it. When it was 300, people was buying it. When it was 350, people was buying it. 400, so I know at 500, people going to buy it, right? Because I'm only looking to work with people who want to change their life, like I did. Now, guys, I'm sitting in my house that I bought from the Internet Commissions. I pay my mortgage from the Internet Commissions. I bought a car with my Internet Commissions, right? I pay my bills with the Internet Commissions, and I still have money left over to do what I want to do. So I had to change that impoverished mind. I had to change that poor mind. I had to change that lack mind and say, what am I going to do with my life? Where do I really truly see myself going? Right. So one income is not enough, guys. Two is not even enough. Three allows you to start, OK, to achieve some financial independence. OK, because now you're not living check to check, because if you're making an extra thousand dollars in e-commerce or you make an extra thousand dollars in your multi-level marketing company, that does wonders. Now you can pay off a lot of stuff more faster and you can take your kids places often. And, right, guess what? <laughs> you don't have to now be chained to this check. I'm telling you guys, being in those four walls at my job drove me crazy. So I felt like I was in jail. Okay, I felt like I was in jail and I couldn't break through. I couldn't break free, right? And it wasn't until my cousin showed me the light. And now it's my duty and my responsibility, guys, to now show you the light. But you got to want, right? So thank God I wrote my first ebook. 37 pages. Make sure, guys, you download. I'll put the link below. See how you can get involved with doing what I'm doing, whether it's affiliate marketing, whether it's Bitcoin, whether you're doing real estate, whether you're, you're saving, uh, you know, for silver, uh, you know, and gold, whether you're starting a multi-level marketing company, whatever it may be, friends, the time is now, okay? It's time is now to change. People struggle. I was just telling my team, I said, people struggle their whole life because they never change this. Every year they say they're going to do something new and they never do nothing new. Every year they're going to do a New Year's resolution. They want to lose weight. They want to make more money. They want to get closer to God. They want to, you know, change themselves. They want to work on themselves. And then every year they do nothing, guys, because it's hard. Right? But if you have a guy, you have someone showing you, you have someone pushing you, guys, it's much easier. Okay? My cousin, she showed me. She pushed me. Then I got connected to the people that were leading me.
And now today, guys, I still have people leading me. I'm still not where I want to be at, right? But I'm going to keep working. But guess what, guys? I can live better now. And I'm only 34 years old. I can live better now, right? I can help more people now. And I can be more fulfilled. And I can have a purpose in life now, guys. I don't want to die broke. I don't want to die impoverished. I don't want to die poor. I don't want to die and my kids got a lot of debt from me. I don't want to die and depend on life insurance because life insurance is a scam. I want to be able to die, right, after I've lived. Not die and I've been dead since 25. Because, see, some people die at 25 and don't make it official until about 75, 80. And mean and dying is that you never put nothing new in your mindset to grow your mindset. Nothing challenges you. So you continue on this cycle, right? Nothing challenges you guys. You need challenges. That's why for men, you know, you know, some men that feel like, you know, they are on top, you know, they look for women that can submit instead of looking for a woman that challenged them. See, my husband, I'm a woman that challenges him, right? So I keep him on his toes. He loved that, right? Men love a challenge anyway. Right. So we got a challenge. Women, we all need a freaking challenge. If we never get a challenge, guys, how do we think? How do we grow? And then now we depend on the government. We depend on Social Security. We depend on uh, pensions. And then we depend on the government to take care of us, guys. How many people 75, 80 years old right now? How many people right now, guys, that are 75, 80 years old right now got to go back to work because their pension and their Social Security together is not enough? Right? I don't want you to be that person, guys. I know I'm not going to be that person. You start now, guys. I'm just getting started. I'm only 34 years old. Only, guys. Right? Only. I'm saying only, guys, because literally my life is just starting. Right? And I'm able to change my family tree. I'm helping my children, my grandmother, my grandparents, my sisters. And it's a lovely feeling, guys, to be able to be in a position to help people change. I'm making my family tree great again, right? So, you know, Trump talks about let's make America great again. I'm making my family tree great again. Are you going to make your family tree great again? The choice is yours, guys. So make sure you download my ebook, read it, send me some reviews, uh, you know, on it or post on my fan page, uh, you know, some reviews that, uh, you know, you may, uh, uh, or whatever you think about, you know, my book, I think is great. Some, a lot of people already, I think about, uh, 50, 50 something people downloaded my book already. Uh, you know, and you know, people are sending me messages saying it's great and posting on my wall and posting in my group, you know, how they like my book guys and helping them get involved in things, um, you know, where they can now also to break the chains off of their life. Okay, guys. So, from poverty, impoverishment, and being poor, guys, we can all change it. That's not the end of the life. That's not the end all be all, guys. There, there, there are ways for us to win. There are ways for us to expand and grow. But you got to start. And the time is now. Click the link below, guys. Make sure you download my book, Season.